no one realizes when one's awareness attention drips away. In trust, driven awareness attention has a tendency to knowingly remain oblivion about the most important subjects of life. You were never taught how to bring your awareness to an order. The spectrum of your awareness was utilized to a decimated extent. That is why our lives are driven by perception that approach a very generalist approach. Generally, the untamed awareness attention is mindlessly, it follows the impulses and creates a wandering insight. A very recent example of my own experience, I was at an 81 story building at the top to have the sky view. The glass floor, the walls of glass, everything was very well protected. There was no room at all for any kind of insecurity. Yet, whenever we were about to embark upon to that sky floor, there was a harness which was being attached to each person who was embarking upon that floor. There was a question in my mind and I asked the person who was tying that harness. When everything is very well protected, there are thick glass walls and the floor too is very sturdy enough, otherwise you would not risk the life of the people. Then why are you tying the harness? And the person giggled. There was no clear answer to that. And the answer was evident to me once I embarked upon to that floor. Psychologically, people were driven by their own fear and an impulse that was driven by their deflected awareness attention. The awareness attention although knows that one is not embarking upon the flow to kill oneself. There is no suicidal attempt. It is for fun. It has been volunteered. And with one's own keen interest, one is upon that flow. Yet, why the harness? Because the moment one embarks upon that flow, 80 stories down when you see from the floor, not from the wall, from the floor, then there is a tremor of fear that percolates within you. And then people stopped. They were not able to inch any further. And they were holding each other tight, as if holding each other tight shall protect them from falling. And it was very funny to observe, because I am a teacher of these subjects of this kind, so there was I was observing not only myself, others, and those two who were accompanying me from India to that place. And I kept on informing them, had this floor been not that sturdy and strong, would they allow us to embark upon it? Then what are you scared of? Just because the moment you see downwards, a fear factor penetrates into you. And where goes your own wisdom? Your own understanding, which has to be firm enough to understand that it is strong. Otherwise, why would ever they give us an opportunity? And apart from that, if at all you have any kind of fear, then why should you embark upon this particular flaw? And if at all you have embarked, then what is the need for you to see downward? Why don't you see ahead? Because everything is visible even ahead. You can see to a great distance. Then why to unnecessarily torment yourself voluntarily, willingly, and come under that sway, that spell of fear? That is somewhere where our awareness attention, when it deflects, it does not behave in an order, then our impulse-driven attention creates unmindful charters in our life. There is no easy approach to inculcate self-discipline towards awareness attention. It's only for those who cease to issue any kind of self-impurity, those who are prepared to take themselves to task, those who are prepared to reprimand themselves for any lapse. 
remember the raw fractured awareness attention leads nowhere it is a prey it is vulnerable to digital addiction unmindful thinking and wandering into meaningless subjects once it is brought into order this awareness attention can give you self confidence to live its beyond measure you become in control of your own self you gather your own individuality and then with complete equipoise and equanimity you charter upon your own ascertained meaningful important objectives in life join with me for 120 days of a monitoring program not mentoring monitoring program in which every week you shall have an opportunity to meditate with me thrice apart from that e notes every week and two group discussions in 120 days for those who are serious and have a deep yearning within these 120 days are going to mean a lot you have to take yourself to task you have to learn how to restore your own inner order and this learning is going to help you to gain that email me at courses c o u r s e s courses at the rate dineshg.com d i n e s h j i dot .com courses at the rate dineshg.com and we'll get back to you with the details